Hello, hello, and welcome to the show with no name. We're here every Thursday at 9.30 a.m. I'm Adair Palmer and... I'm Fiona Lucianos. <laughs> and about uh, probably 18 months ago now, we started the show with no name on mytimetv.live because we have a burning desire and a passion to help profit for purpose organisations, uh, service clubs, charities, and people in the community doing community fundraising to help each help each other to help brand champion the cause and to raise funds to get sponsors donations volunteers and brand awareness to your profit for perfect purpose i still have trouble saying that the only you're gonna have to keep pulling me up on that and so we look, we look at doing that for your profit, for purpose organization, for your charity, your service club, or your community fundraiser. Now, Fiona, why do we call it profit for purpose? Uh, well, it's, it's a psychological thing. So when you come from the mentality that you're not for profit, what do you think you're going to be? Not profiting. Not profiting. And whilst not-for-profit as everyone knows and it's just a term that we prefer to use um not-for-profit is okay it's what it is it's not profit in their own pocket but they need to make money to fund their projects and to help the charities and services that they're helping and in any other projects that they're working so they're profit because they're making money but it's for a purpose and the purpose is, is in their own pockets it is it is interesting that the mentality that I came from many many years ago, not saying how many, uh, when I worked in community services, and, <laughs> you did you dumb me in? <laughs> I when I worked in community services and community development, that we actually thought like you had to be the you know we we pride ourselves on running an, organ, an organization on what they call the smell of an oily rag and we would think if you're doing it tough you're doing the right thing but seriously how outdated is that view and with more modern thinking about the way we go about things around social enterprise and um, so the social bottom line for businesses as well there is so many more so much more that we can do and so many ways that we can help people but you really can't if you just sort of have that mentality of we're, we're doing it tough so um vicky is here hello vicky good to see you lovely to meet you and it is vicky's birthday i believe ah, so happy birthday, birthday vicky. <laughs> happy birthday another libra and, child as, pardon another and, libra child another <laughs> the bears the best kind <laughs> yes so, actually i think it's vicky's birthday tomorrow but uh, we're close enough so happy birthday to vicky um do you, do you want to do you want to explain what's happening today? Because we've I got do. we've got a bunch we've got a bunch of surprises happening, haven't we? <laughs> we have a guest today. Hi, Nigel. How are you going? Um, so we have a guest today who isn't here right now, and it could be a whole heap of reasons. He does run his own business, and he's also you know got kids and could be off camping, could be doing whatever and not have a connection or whatever. It doesn't matter because I've still got his information. So we thought we can still share what it is that he is doing, what he's up to. So Philip DePinto is that he's the director of Universal Motor Auctions here in Adelaide. Um, and he is, so he's telling his age, he's a his father was a 45-year-old veteran of the motor industry as well. Now, in addition to running and managing the motor, uh, Universal Motor Auctions with his brother, he's also on the board of the Treetop Specific School for Autistic Children. The board comprises a committee a group of passionate parents working on establishing an autistic school in Adelaide to be the first of its kind in the state and to put South Australia in line with all the other states. Philip has two children and is a strong and caring individual who believes in the mantra of helping others, in particular children and their families who live and struggle with impairments. His belief as a father is to set an example for children to follow as they get older so they're strong enough to help others in need. 
He's a founding member of the Living Without Limits Foundation and is extremely passionate about raising much needed funds and awareness for this important charity. He is personally dedicated to supporting children that are affected by autism and his message to everyone is simple. Help us to assist all those in need of support, which is exactly what we're about and what this show's about. Basically, that sums it up beautifully. And do we have Philip here? No, we don't. I've got his website. There. <laughs> We do, we do have a special guest missing in action. I did like, I would like to say it's actually not Vicky's birthday. I just had a, a little brain fart there. It's actually her sister's, Lizzie's birthday. So whichever sister it is, happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, my God. I just would like to also say, even though our special guest is not here with us today, he may pop in. Um he may be on daylight saving time and has lost that hour and has still gone looking for it. I don't know, like Theone did when she said, I'm going to the gym and the hour that they <laughs> we lost was the hour that she was going to go to the gym for. Yeah, that was the hour of time. So, <laughs> so just, just a reminder, we are going to talk about the Living Life Without Limits in Philip's absence, so we are going to share the website and some great stuff that the organisation is doing. So we'll continue with that. But I would like to ask you also, please make sure that if you know anybody who has um, living with people or has a, um, autism, living with diabetes or epilepsy or any of these conditions that the organisation is aimed at supporting, and uh, and helping people with can you please let them know because we've done we've actually helped a lot of people by just sharing this information and i think the the one that was most um the one that pops into mind straight away is when we talked about the uh the transplants so do you want to before we go into that just how we helped just one person was amazing. Yeah, so that was when we interviewed was Kevin Green, I think his name is. Yes, Kevin Green from the Australian Transplant uh, Organ it's an Organ Transplant Donors and Recipients Group of Australia. I had a mental blank then. Um, and there we had a donor a donor family who, you know, people in Australia can't find out, you know, what's happened with their loved ones' organs, where they've gone. But Quite often, both parties, not always, but both parties do want to connect and, you know, for the recipient family to say thank you and the donor family to see that, you know, life life has happened, a life has been saved. And a somebody from here did end up finding that group and finding support. I don't think they've found their recipient family yet or anything like that, but it's the support that they found through that group because that's a whole heap of other people in the same boat as they are. I think that's pretty amazing. So if we can touch or help the, the lives of just, you know, just one person and uh, and help improve them, that's uh, it really does it really does help make a difference. So we are also broadcasting out to 50 channels of TV on demand through the Binge Network syndication program. And if um, we are if you're watching this on any of the other pages other than mytimetv.live just know that we won't see your comments because we do what we call cross posting across to several other pages collaborative partners that we have and we are not live there so if you want to join us live pop over to mytimetv.live and look for us live or there's a link in the comments above that you can click which will take you straight to the live broadcast um Fiona. yes now so today we're here to talk about living without limits. Now, if you want, because we don't have Philip here, we will forgive him that because, you know, mm -hmm. things happen for all sorts of reasons. Uh, he definitely get in contact with him. He is tagged in the post above. Visit the Living Without Limits Facebook page and website if you want more information or if you feel it's a cause that you want to support. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll just share with you, I'm just going to share my screen here and bring up their website. Just put that on solo. So the, let me get rid of this frame because that makes it really difficult to see. And I can't do it. That frame's got to stay. It's not going to let me get rid of it because the screen's reduced. Sorry about that. We'll just have to 
live with that. Uh, so the Living Without Limits Foundation, as Adair said a little earlier, or we both said a little earlier, they're a profit for purpose organisation with a specific purpose to fund critical research and support various children's organisations and to assist in developmental practices and per purchase important equipment, which is determined by the, the by the board. Now, one of the biggest things, and this was when I, I met Philip a few months ago and what they were working on at the time, I'll uh, show you some stuff from their Facebook page in a moment. They had just held a gala ball and what they're working on is this thing here, which is one of the biggest things that I wanted to highlight for you all is, so they're currently building a house. They have property at Goolwa and they're building a house in Goolwa. It's a house of respite, which is being set up to be a holiday destination for families of children who are affected by, uh, with, sorry, autism or cerebral palsy. Now, it's, so when, when a family has, is going through these challenges it's it's it can be quite taxing emotionally mentally and financially um so you know quite a lot of their income you know you might not have any double income families in these situations and quite a lot of their income and expenses will go towards you know purchasing whatever it is, any equipment and things that they need to do. So what they're doing with the House of Respite is basically they want to holiday 50 families every year. So 50 families affected so they can have their holiday year, get away without the stress of finance because quite often these families don't get to have holidays and it's just around the clock caring that they have to do. So they don't get an opportunity to just get away and be with themselves. So what they're doing is, I think is absolutely incredible, just to give families the opportunity to reconnect and give time to their other children. Because quite often they can feel a little left out. Um, now I'm just going to share with you, I need to go back to the studio, their Facebook page. And I just want to show you, so back in, so this is their Facebook page, You'll, you will visit it, you can visit it later yourself. Um, so they've started building their house, this was a post from October, so the walls and the foundations are down and all their, you know, all their frames and things are going up. But what I wanted to share with you, I think this is absolutely incredible, as Oh, did you just say something you did? No? Um, I think this is absolutely incredible. So they back in, I just scroll back here, so they're showing the progress. So back on the 25th of May, so this was a few months ago, they held their ball at the entertainment centre. Now they, here we go, here's the post that I was looking for. They raised, now if anybody has ever organised If anybody has ever organised a gala event, you will appreciate how much work goes into it, what it's like, you know, just getting all the little bits and pieces running, working together. They held a ball on the 25th of May and they raised at that one event in excess of $130,000. Now, I don't know if that's a final figure. Um, they raised $130,000, which was all going towards building that house, that property, which is absolutely incredible. Now, that is prime example of what collaboration does because, you know, you don't... Oh, Adair, can you mute that so I can unmute you? Um, so this stuff doesn't happen on its own. Now, I'm just going to bring Adair back up. Are you... Can I unmute you? I can't unmute her. Uh, yeah. So she's got no audio, so it's just me. I can see your lips moving. Can you hear me? <laughs> I cannot hear a thing. Okay. So it looks like it's a day of technological. If, like, here, this is what we call lulling, learning out loud. So, Fiona, I'm going to leave this with you because there's something wrong with my speakers. I cannot hear a thing. I'm going to duck out of here and see if I can't do some troubleshooting. Bye, everyone. <laughs>
<laughs> well, that's fun. I didn't even, well, I did have to mute her, but I don't really have to. So, um, so yeah, so Living Without Limits is there to support. If you know any families who are, you know, who have children with uh, on the autism spectrum or with cerebral palsy, definitely get in contact with them, see how you can support what events they have happening down the track. Now, I was going to ask Philip if they had any events coming on, uh, coming up, but he's not here for now. We might have to bring him on for a proper update later down the track. Uh, but for now, that's really what we've got. So definitely visit their Facebook page and visit their website. Links are all above. And what we can do is, yeah, just definitely connect because without money they can't actually get you know you can't build a house without money but of course this is definitely a service that these families need they found a gap they found a need and they're doing something to fill it and make a difference which is absolutely incredible now if you are somebody doing something to make a difference in your own community if you work for a profit for purpose purpose for uh, not for profit, I see I can't even spit the other term out anymore. Profit for purpose, not for profit, whatever you want to call it. We prefer profit for purpose. Uh, charity or if you're just doing something in your community for a service club, it could even be your school. Uh, let us know because we like to interview you, brand champion you and raise awareness for your cause and who knows, maybe even help you raise some money. Uh, but awareness is everything. If people don't know you're there and what you're doing, then they can't find you and can't help and support you. And you might be doing something that's actually really meaningful to them. And that's when you find people who want to support what you're doing even more. Um, hello. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, I finally decided to join you. No, I'm actually, I've had some real, I'm, I'm on my phone now. So, you know, we always go plan B when plan A fails, which is quite regularly, in fact. You've done an amazing job and I'm going to have to watch it back to um, to see what you actually said or hear what you actually said. <laughs> so um, we'll have to chase Philip up and just, I will send him a, a copy of this and say, hey, you know, I hope we uh, said the right things in your absence. Yeah, and uh, look, I know we haven't done it justice. There were questions I wanted to ask Philip, but things happen and that's okay. Look, technology failed for you. Guests couldn't show up and that's, that's and the show the went on. <laughs> show went on. That's just the way it goes. So definitely have a look at their website and their Facebook page, see what they're about. What they're doing is absolutely amazing. And we would love to talk to you if you have a, as I think I only just said, I think I just jumped in on the end of it, but if you do have some, a uh, profit for purpose, cause, a charity or a service club that you would like to share the amazing stuff that you're doing to help others in the community, attract sponsors, donations, volunteers and increase your brand awareness, we are more than happy to help you. Absolutely. So with, I think... Did you send me a message before? Ah, so I think we'll leave that there, Tags. I don't want to waffle about nothing. I did have questions for Philip, but maybe he'll pop in the comments hey. later. And... <laughs> Wait, we got it back. Come on. <laughs> no, <not> all <laughs> people. <laughs> all right, not too much. Yeah. So definitely get in contact with us. We do want to hear you and your stories. It doesn't matter if you're helping, you know, one person or a million people it's still your cause is worthy. So definitely get in touch. We want to hear your story and help you share your story. Have a, have a great Thursday. Bye.